Yeah, time now for a look at your health. It's the old adage, if you don't use it, you lose it. And now research shows more and more Americans are losing their memory. For more on why memory loss is on the rise and ways to stimulate your brain, we're joined by Dr. Mitch Goldman from UCSD. Uh, now, you've been mentioning Terry Bradshaw, a yes. football player. Gets hit a lot. How's his memory? It's going bad. And he's one of the Fox reporters on sports. And he just came out today saying that the six concussions that he had and all the brain uh, injuries and hitting from being a quarterback back in the 70s and 80s is really affecting his memory. But how about the rest of us? Uh, I haven't been hit in the head any more than the <laughs> Typical guy. Yeah, the rest of us are having more memory problems. It turns out that about 10% of even kids between 20 and 35 that are just on their computers all the time are actually having severe memory problems. And with adults our age, it turns out about 5 million people already have memory problems. In the next 10 to 20 years, it's going to double to about 10 million. So because of the technology, because of the way we're using our brains? Well, it's what you said at the very start of the, sh of the episode. If you don't use it you lose it so the key things are you've got to exercise your brain just like you're exercising your body how can I do that well many different ways first is exercising your body the more exercise you get the more blood goes to your brain and the brain takes 20% of our our oxygen and nutrients because it, it needs a lot of fuel mm -hmm. other ways are you stop smoking and then do crossword puzzles Sudoku listen to music as you were talking about with your mom just music alone and listening to music music and appreciating it will also help your memory. Yeah, I mentioned that my mom is 93 and sharp as attack. She listens to book on tapes and she says it's because she has to visualize the story. And it's absolutely yeah. true. And so now I know where you get some of that sharpness from. <laughs> <laughs> She's also bald as, as a cute <laughs> Not at all. Sorry, Mom. Um, uh, so what about Gingo Biloba? Can I just take a pill and get you know, be all better? Every American just wants to take a pill, but they're now a number of scientific studies showing that ginkgo really doesn't work and which is a shame because I was taking right. it for a while too but even more importantly a number of the medicines that we're using on our Alzheimer's patients also have been found not to work very well you know a lot of doctors want to try to prevent Alzheimer's and catch in its very very early stages which is really important but studies just released today by the Journal of the American Medical Association show that the Alzheimer drugs actually do not prevent memory loss and they don't do anything in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Okay, remember, you want to keep your memory as you grow older? Challenge yourself. Use your brain, and it'll stay sharper. Thanks a lot, Dr. Goldman. Good, Good to see you, as you usual. Take it easy. All right, Dr. So you're giving us permission to uh, play the game Words with Friends on our iPhones, because that's what everybody in the station's playing, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And listen to music, too. Listen to music. <laughs> Very good. Javon's playing it right now, I think. Thank you.